What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here, and today we're going to be taking a look at some interesting knives that are coming soon to Blade HQ. Uh, I've done this uh, for a little bit now. I try to spread it out because there's not always a ton of interesting stuff that's coming, but today there is definitely some interesting stuff that's coming soon. You guys might be wondering, Metal Complex, why would we need to sit through a video of you just commenting on all this stuff that's coming soon? Why couldn't we just go do this for ourselves? You're right, you can. In fact, I will leave a link right at the top of the description of the video that you're watching right now where you can just go look at the exact page that I'm looking at and scroll through for yourself. Uh, but if you'd like to stick around, I've uh, got a few thoughts on some of the things coming out. I'm going to highlight some things that I think are really interesting. And, you know, for the most part, this is just for general entertainment. I know a lot of my audience likes to pay attention to stuff like this, and if I can point out some things that are going to become available for people that didn't know but want to get their hands on them, then this might be uh, beneficial for those people. Um, there will be links for all of the things listed down below. In, or, I'm sorry, all the things that I'm going to highlight in this video, I'm going to list them down below individually so that you can go right to them. Some of these items are available for pre-order. As you can see right here, it says pre-order down payment $5, so you can do that and get your pre-orders in if you want to. Other things, you'll have to click into them and choose email me when available to be uh, a part added to the notification system. You can do that however you'd like to if you want to. Uh, thank you so much to my generous patrons who are supporting me right now. If you'd like to check out my Patreon, there's of course a link for that right down in the description. Uh, your support means the world to me. And please follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. All right, let's go ahead and get into this here. Um, first up, we have the Spyderco Small Fly. A lot of you guys remember I did the uh, Reveal 6 catalog, or I did a video on Spyderco's Reveal 6 catalog, and this is one of them. Um, I, uh, a lot of people told me, they're like, yeah, there was an, they, they have done a ballad song before, hence the number two in Small Fly. Um, but yeah, this is the uh, Small Fly ballad song. If you're a ballad song fan and you're a Spyderco fan, then well, there you go. This is a match made in heaven, 7.6 inches overall. 3.37 uh, inches of blade cbm s30v uh, it's, i mean it's interesting it's fully flat ground i mean honestly the blade looks super performance oriented fully uh fully flat ground blade at 125 thousandths on the spine 210 dollars uh is this made in the usa i imagine this is a usa spider co um but uh, yeah i mean if you if you're interested in picking this up when they drop um, then you can pre-order it, uh, and you'll you'll have a spot no matter what. So that's kind of neat. Um, there's a lot of Spider Coast here, guys. In fact, I mean, in my previous videos, like my coming soon videos, Spider Coast tends to dominate this list. Um, so yeah, that's what we're going to be looking at here. Dragonfly two uh, in K390 and uh, blue FRN. That's cool. I mean, I've honestly, you guys are going to laugh at me. I've never handled the Dragonfly. Uh, other than just like in storefronts and things and maybe literally maybe once maybe that's a knife i should review <laughs> if you pick up the k390 dragonfly <laughs> and you want to send it in for review let me know uh the spy opera i a lot of people are interested in this and you know the more that i look at it the more interesting it becomes this is an m390 in my car to lock back this is a nice classy you know not intimidating kind of dress i mean we're gonna i guess maybe we can define this as gentleman's folder despite me having picked that term apart in a recent knife guy episode yeah it kind of strikes me that way it's got the wire clip um it's got uh, uh oh this is a this is a lion steel collab i did not know that that's interesting 2.88 inches 6.9 inches overall it's a nice size uh yeah 175 i don't think that's a bad price so there you go you can pre-order that one if you want to next up let's see here yeah this is a big one for me i'm a little i'll be honest with you guys i said this in the um in the uh catalog six reveal or the spider co reveal six catalog <laughs> however you want me to say that i said s35 vn on the tenacious lightweight I really hope it doesn't go over 70. It probably will, but maybe maybe they'll surprise us. Yeah, it definitely went over 70. 98 bucks. I mean, here's the thing. It is S35VN. That's cool. I trust Spyderco's heat treat of S35VN in this price range over many, many other knife. I mean, like, here's the thing. A lot of people are like, I can get S35VN or M390 for X amount from X company. The problem is we're seeing widely varying uh, reports of uh, performance uh, amidst a lot of those makers and manufacturers because they're skipping out on the heat treat process. So it doesn't matter what the composition of the steel is, if it's not going to perform correctly, you bought a Ferrari with a Honda engine. That's, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> fans of Honda. I'm just saying it's, un it's underperforming. 
Um, so, but with Spider-Co, I do trust their heat treat. I do trust that that S35VN is going to be heat treated correctly. So perhaps this price range is more justified than I thought. I don't know. You're going to have to make that decision for yourself. In any case, this is compelling. Um, so if you um, uh, want to pre-order it, you can do that for uh, a $5 down payment through Blade HQ. Let's see. Next up, Native 5 Lightweight and uh, K3. I think I bet that's K39. That's kind of interesting. The Pacific Salt. Man, I really glossed over this guy in the uh, Reveal 6 catalog. Um, they they uh, switched out the Salt series from H1 to LC200N, which made a lot of people happy. This is pretty cool. Um, the Pacific Salt is 8.75 inches overall, 3.75 inches of blade. So it's is it shorter than the Endura, but longer than the Delica? Or I don't I can never remember exactly how long the Endura is. Maybe this is more Endura size. In any case, LC200N, welcome. I mean, it's, this is a, that's a welcome steal for uh, whether or not you live around the ocean. I mean, this the name suggests that you have to use this knife in the ocean. You don't. This is a great work knife. If you're, you know, constantly working with your hands outside all day, every day, and your knife is in your pocket getting, you know, essentially as you perspire the moisture that, that go, this, <laughs> that's a gross line of, <laughs> if you're outside and you're sweaty all day and your hands are in and out of your pockets, a lot of times the steel that's on your knife will uh, uh, be susceptible to that. Uh, many times I've worked all day with a D2 knife in my pocket here in Kansas and saw surface corrosion that would that uh, wouldn't uh, have uh, popped up under uh, you know like if I was just EDCing it in the office or something like that. So LC200N being basically impervious to corrosion is great. Doesn't really matter if you live in the ocean or not. $101. I think that's pretty good. I don't have a problem with that. There's the new Autonomy 2. This is the automatic knife from Spyderco. I, uh, once I looked up the uh, other auto, or one of the other autos from Spyderco, I realized, yeah, my comments on whether or not there was an auto from Spyderco, that's kind of silly. There, there have actually been multiple autos from Spyderco. 8.42 inches overall, 3.5 inch blade. LC200N, again, they really surprised me with this blade steel on this one. Um, I was not expecting the blade steel on the Autonomy 2 to be LC200N. So, I mean, that's cool. That's cool that, that I don't know that there's ever been an automatic knife in existence with LC200N. So if you want to buy it for that novelty, okay. This is a US Spider Co. $245. Pretty pretty pricey. I mean, it's you, we're, we're looking at, um, you know, essentially the territory that ProTech dominates here. Side opening US automatics with, uh, you know, higher end steels and materials like aluminum or G10. Uh, ProTech primarily likes to use aluminum with uh, some other inlay materials. I don't think this is bad. Benchmade's got some side opening autos, right? Uh, it would have been a lot cooler if it was around the $200, $210 dollar mark, you know, but that's what I always say. Everything could be, would be better if it was 20 bucks, 30 bucks cheaper, right? This is cool. Uh, for no other reason than the fact that they're putting LC200 in on an auto. And it looks super performance oriented. So I imagine that this will be a uh, an excellent user for a lot of people who enjoy side opening automatic knives and who can legally enjoy them in the area. You can pre-order this one if you want to. Whole bunch in a row here. This first page has a ton of stuff on it. Uh, the 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 mini uh, keychain knife, the black bug, that's okay, whatever. This thing, the pochi, the poochie. I always want to call it the Pochi. The Pucci, obviously, is what that's called. Maybe. I don't know. Is that how you pronounce it? I don't know. Uh, yeah, that one's weird. <laughs> Some people, I'm sure, will pick that up. Police 4 and K390. Holy moly. That is a big knife. Lockback K390, 150. You're getting a lot of blade. A lot of super high-performance-oriented blade uh, for $157. I I'm actually kind of compelled just to... Just to handle it. I really, that's another spider coil I've never handled. That's another one that I really need to take a look at. So if you pick this knife up and you want to, you, you don't mind me reviewing it, then let me know. Sage 1 in Maximate, definitely compelling. This is super compelling. 7.125 inches overall, blade length 3 inches, cutting edge 2.625 inches, blade thickness 130 thousandths uh, in Maximate. Yes, this will definitely be one that many people enjoy. Uh, I believe this is a Tai Chung Taiwan Spider Co. I think so. This just screams general EDC. That's going to make a lot of people happy. Maximin is awesome. I've been using it and have failed to dull it for a very long time. Not to the point where it needs sharpening. I've been EDCing Maximin for, oh gosh, the better part of this year. 
And a lot of you are thinking like, well, if you have dull, even Maximith, then you don't use your knives that much. Yeah, you're right. I get my knives out, you know, maybe, I don't know, four or five times a week to make simple cuts on things. Uh, if you like the idea of just basically having to, or getting to ignore the element of sharpening altogether, if your usage habits are like mine, yeah, Maximin will be good for a while. Um, Maximin is not stainless, so it depends on where. If you live near the ocean, Maximin's not for you, right? If you're going to be outside and sweaty and dirty all the time, maybe not unless you want to wipe your blade down constantly. Delica 4, lightweight in uh, pink FRN. This is, uh, I think there's a cause behind this one. Um, let's read into this. Let's see here. Maybe I'm wrong about that. I could have sworn that there was a reasoning behind that. I, I think that's the case. I can't remember though. If you like the pink color, there you go. Um, we have the uh, Atlantic Salt with the serrations, and I believe that's LC200N as well. Um, and then the Pacific Salt too was with the serrations. This weird thing, the Swick, that's about to uh, come into play there. And then if you want one of the autos with serrations, there you go. Whole bunch of stuff on that first page. There's the Patades, Patadisi. I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, another one from the catalog that's coming soon. I believe that's, yeah, M390. Uh, there's a down payment for that one if you want to pick that one up. The Civivi Ortiz, or Ortis, I don't know how to pronounce that. I, I'm sure that's going to be another home run from Civivi. In fact, I really like where they place the texturing on that guy. Yeah, I like this faux bolster look. That's nice. Seven and a half inches overall, 9CR18 MOV. That's fine for 40 bucks. Yeah, for sure. Sign me up. <laughs> Sign me up for that one. That's pretty cool. Uh, serrated Tenacious. Um, there's an all black one for the same amount. Usually, for whatever reason, if it, the entire thing's black, they charge you five more bucks or something. But they didn't there, so that's cool. This knife, the Gava. I actually have this knife right now. This knife is great. <laughs> I am very impressed with the Gava. That's an awesome knife. Uh, for $253, titanium, M390, etc. Uh, Left-handed small Sabenza with raindrop Damascus. There you go for somebody looking for that. CRKT Burnley Squid in D2. Uh, I know that that was a popular knife. I've never handled it. Uh, that one says coming soon. So here's an example of one that you cannot pre-order, uh, but you can hit email me when available if that's something that you are interested in. Uh, let's go back here. Yeah, more of these guys. Well, there's, look. I know people want me to talk about the elements. I brought this up in another coming soon episode. Those are coming soon. They're obviously great knives. They're obviously going to sell out really quickly. So if you want to pick one of those up, pick them up. Here's another example of something that went pretty fast and that a lot of people will want to pick up. This is the Kaiser Vanguard Sheepdog in Micarta. This is in between the little one and the uh, hilariously oversized one, the XL. 7.75 inches overall, 3.25 inch blade. CTS BD1N steel, which is different than CTS BD1. For anybody who's wondering, uh, 90 bucks, and uh, yeah, this is an awesome looking knife. I mean, seriously, this is I've seen this knife all over Instagram for people who picked this up when it first dropped. So, if you're really wanting to pick that up, I think that's the most popular color setup. Uh, this one right here, the black micarta and the DLC blade, or the uh, whatever they're using to coat the blade, and then they, the other ones are coming back as well. So, the brown and the satin finished with the black micarta and the satin finished with the brown and then the, there's a different color brown or whatever so there you go um pick those up uh, or hit the email notification if you want to pick that up apparently there are protec malibus coming i don't know when but i keep seeing them on this page so if you if you really want that and you haven't uh, hit the email notification yet you better hit that because those will be oh man there's got to be so much built up tension for people waiting for those i imagine that those will be Quick. I'm, I'm suggesting they're going to be gone. And maybe not. Maybe they'll last a whole day. Who knows? If you want to get your hands on one, it's one of, it's definitely one of the best knives of uh, 2020. There's the blue one right there for sure. And then I guess, if, man, if you want a super wild one, um, there's a full, looks like a full custom one right there. Um, let's scroll down here a little bit further. I think there were items on page four and five that I was also kind of interested in. Let's see here. Yeah, look at this little thing. Spyderco Ladybug 3 in Glow FRN. That's neat. Seems like the Glow, like the, the, the Jade color G10 and FRN has always looked like it was supposed to glow anyway. So apparently now it will. If you want to pick one of those up, uh, I've got one of those on my keychain in K390 and it's great. Yeah, no issues with that whatsoever. Civivi Mastodon Liner Lock in Damascus. That's pretty cool. Uh, I'll let you guys take a look at that close up here real quick. I kind of like the 
the whole really looks like a old school cleaver for sure. That's awesome. If you like the EDC, the cleaver style blades, there you go. Uh, and then there's the one, just the standard, and uh, pro it's probably um, uh, D2, maybe 9CR18. I, in fact, let's just go ahead and look. Let's find out what it is. Yeah, it's 9CR18 MOV. Uh, I like the stone washing on that. I'm glad that Savivi's messing around with stone washing. That's great. Take a look at this. Here we go. Benchmade bug out gray G10 in 20 CV. That's cool. $212. That's a lot of money. But at least you're getting a bug out in G10 and 20 CV. Um, you know, that's how that's going to be perceived. This is going to be an excellent EDC uh, knife. And it looks like the color setup is going to be exclusive to Blade HQ, I'm guessing. I don't know if you can recreate this exactly on the custom shop. I know that the Benchmade bug out is definitely on the custom shop now. Um, the one that I would go for would be this guy right here. The satin and gray G10 with the green. I think that's cool. I think that looks nice. They're making this kind of look like a cream color, but uh, apparently it's gray. So there you go. A little bit less on the satin finished one. That's nice. What else do we have here? Uh, was it page five? I know. The spider cushion. This guy's coming. It's coming. Who knows when? This will probably... Now, this is a knife that will go faster than anything else. This has been brought up, I think, three times now. I thought this would have been released a long time ago. If you want the Z-Wear Shaman, you need to be ready for it. I'm not trying to be like, eh, oh, fear missing out, buy it now. Seriously, whether I say it or not, it doesn't matter if I point it out or not. It is what it is. This thing will be gone. If you want this thing, if you want to be ready for it when it drops, hit the email or te apparently text me when available. That's neat that they can do that. Um, but yeah, that will be one of the fastest moving items uh, that we've ever seen in the knife world. Is this the last page? This is the page that I realized was probably the end of the road here on interesting or stuff that at least interests me. Yeah, I think that is the case there. So anyways, guys, lots of really, really cool stuff coming out on uh, blade HQ. And I know a lot of you guys really like when I do this, despite the fact that you can just go check for yourselves. Um, but uh, a lot of you guys are signed up for notifications through my channel, so you just get to sit back and click on things as they pop up, and then, you know, in this case, hopefully this video maybe showed you something you didn't know was about to be available or something that you missed that you wanted to pick up, um, but there's a lot of cool stuff. Finally, a lot of really cool stuff repopulating the Coming Soon uh, tab on uh, Blade HQ. Like I said... Uh, there'll be individual links for these individual items that I highlighted down in the description so you can go right to them or you can just click that link right at the top of the description that takes you to this page and you can browse uh, for yourself. But guys, I think that's going to be pretty much it for today's uh, walkthrough of the coming soon section of Blade HQ. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do of course have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that middle complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching everybody and have a great day.